I have been vegetarian since 2006 and traveling for just as long. It has always been tricky finding food I can eat when abroad. I want to try some of those. But as being vegetarian or vegan becomes more common, the options have really opened up. Even at street food markets, where skewered meat has always reigned king. Recently we traveled to Taiwan, and it was a vegetarian's paradise. Pleasant surprise. In this video, I want to show you some of the amazing vegetarian street foods Taiwan has to offer. So a couple of things that have really helped me um, traveling in Taiwan and being a vegetarian is knowing how to say the phrase, I am vegetarian, wo chi su, which if you can say that, at least you can kind of communicate that you do not eat meat. Um, on top of that, I've learned uh, characters for beef, um, chicken, fish, and pork which have really helped in being able to read uh, certain things on menus or at street food stands or buying little onigiri rice balls at the corner store I can read what uh, things are inside. So just learning those few basic things I think helps a lot when traveling. Um, especially if you learn those characters, they are relevant when you go to Japan, when you go to China. Um, I've also used them in um, Malaysia, Vietnam, so learning them can really carry you pretty far. So I'm pretty sure I just bought stinky tofu. We're gonna try it for the first time. I put a lot of uh, spicy chilies and stuff on it. So the thing is, like, people say they really don't like it, but I love fermented things. I love tofu and I love cabbage. So I don't really understand how it can't be something that's awesome. Mm. I guess, yeah, unless it's really fermented, right? Let's find out. Yeah, do you want to hold the camera or do you want to try first? Hold it first. My finger's in the shot. Kind of a little your stick. of stink? No. Of deliciousness? Yeah. The chilies help too. All right. It's great. It's excellent. I this, like chilies. This is awesome. So we're gonna try another vegetarian street food snack. It's just fried mushrooms. They're also grilled mushrooms, which we probably should have got. With some spicy sauce on it. Oh, it's chewy. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Some more delicious barbecued mushrooms with wasabi flavor. Yeah. You like it? Oh yeah. Is that right? <laughs> you don't like it? There's a lot of spices. It's saltier than I thought. Hmm. That didn't taste like black tea, but... It does taste like tea, though. No. No. It tastes like salt and egg. Hmm. Good, though. Well, that's good. Your turn. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Nom, 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 nom. When we were at Fo Guan Shen Buddhist Temple in Kaohsiung, we visited one of the many vegan buffets. You can find temple food, or monk food, at many places in Taiwan. Temple food is always vegan. So we paid at 150 for an all-you-can-eat. It's at least don't take more than you can eat buffet. And it's all vegetarian. 
So we've got mixtures of a bunch of tofu-y things and soup and yeah, it looks delicious. Rishi? We somehow haven't had dumplings the whole time we've been here. First dumpling. Don't burn yourself. I'm gonna get delicious broccoli. Somehow we managed to have emptied this minus the cup of corn that we're both not sure how to eat. But I feel like um, this is success enough. We can probably just leave our corn in shame. Yeah, that's amazing. I got a tomato vegetable one. It's not coming. currently. <laughs> Here's my veggie tomato ramen. I'm not usually the person that films my food, but it just seems too good, you know? Delicious pancake thing. Yeah, leek pancake thing. It was really hot. Like oh. you just made it, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just nibble the tiniest bit. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Does it burn your face off? Yeah. But it's really good. Feel the burn. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hoping these aren't meat. Um, I can only read certain characters, so if it's meat, then uh, you're gonna eat these ones. Mmm. Oh, this green onion. Nice. Mmm. No. What's the other guy? A stick of some sort. Go. Oh. Mmm, that's so good. Mine's not as hot. It's potato cheese. How's your potato yeah. cheese pie? Oh, really good. Yeah, it is. This is breading's really good. I'm not gonna lie, our train snacks are giving me some some serious Japan vibes. Yeah. No, it might seem kind of lazy, but 7-Eleven breakfast is today. Also, I found this awesome uh, coffee with oat milk so I don't have to die from the dairy. It's pretty exciting. And some miso soup. You gonna try bubble tea for the first time ever in my life. I'll put my shadow over Wait, you. I'll pull place, you from the heat. In the place where it was made, right? Yep. You've never tried it before, eh? No, it's not a jelly in my mouth. I like the tea because there's no milk in it. It's just black tea with jelly things. It's uh, really good. I remember when it got popular in our little Niagara bubble <laughs> for a while, years ago, and my friends were all obsessed with it. I thought it was all right. This is really good because it's not like they can cho you can choose your sweetness. Yeah. She said it's a certain amount of sweet, but it's just the jellies that are sweet. The tea is just black tea. I like that. There's no milk in this. I've only had like the milkiest, sugariest version yeah. of it. It's really good. Oh yeah. So it gets a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Comment below. But because it's a black tea, I think. About your taste. So not a sugar fan at all. In the bubble tea. <laughs> we did a lot of hard work today looking at temples. We still have one temple left at least. So uh, we gotta celebrate with a Taiwan beer. So we've got these uh, spiced ales, Taiwanese spiced ales, 
Tastes exactly like a pumpkin beer. Yeah, which is fitting because Halloween was two days ago. Yeah. So. Delicious. Come, come by. by. I'm not going to knock it, but it is very strange that you can buy beer at this nice historical site. More cool. beer stands everywhere. And it's my way. Still ready for this? So this guy is green onion and an egg and some oysters in what looks like a cauliflower bowl. I'm gonna try this guy and not burn myself. Mmm, that was delicious. Tastes like an egg roll. It's so good. What is it? Deliciousness. But what does it taste like? Like, like good? Like good. Tastes like cheese and garlic and some kind of fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish. It's definitely uh, shrimp. Pigeon. Shrimp? Yeah. And a little bit of cloves, maybe? Really good. That was delicious. Yeah. What do you feel like trying next? Uh, whatever catches our fancy, I suppose.